Bush. I'm one of the directors at East of England Venue Specialists. Um, I'm a diplomat and a recognised specialist in, in small animal orthopaedics. Um, so I work alongside with my business partner Martin Owen, who's also an ECVS and RCVS diplomat in orthopaedics. And together we run the, run the business. Uh, so we just do orthopaedics, that's all we do at the moment. Um, and we're supported by our uh, more than capable nurse, uh, Emily Brook, who, uh, who runs the show when we um, essentially do what she tells us to do. We had a site lined up and uh, that, for various reasons, didn't come to, come to fruition. Um, uh, so after several months of waiting for that to come through, we, uh, we, we decided it wasn't going to work. So we started looking elsewhere for another site and um, it turns out this place came up on Gumtree, which was not the place we'd have, uh, we'd have first thought to look. Uh, but this is a, an old human hospital doing uh, human cosmetic plastic surgery um, which had been run as that for um, about 15 years and then um, the, uh, the, the current tenants had, had f finished their lease so the lease came up and uh, we found it and it was a pretty much a, uh, a, an ideal situation for us. We were very lucky with this building. It was it was all set up um, essentially ready to go as a as a as a surgery um, unit. There were a couple of changes were needed because it was a human surgery unit. Um, the main thing was that there was a lot of en suites. There's dozens of toilets that needed to come out. We didn't have any need for those, um, so we had to knock down a few walls to make some of the rooms a little bit bigger for consulting. Um, we were very fortunate that there was in theatre there was already. Two, two established theatres with pipe gases, um, operating lights, um, uh, anaesthetic table, trolleys, uh, theatre tables, all ready to go, which was, uh, which was fantastic. Probably the biggest cost was the investment into CT. Um, the CT mach machine itself was, is, uh, is an expensive um, item to buy but we also needed to ensure that the room was properly shielded. So there's a lot of expense in lead shielding the, the room, the doors, building a, a cabin. Um, uh, so those are the things that probably ended up costing us the most. Um, most of the work was probably more superficial. We needed to, you know, to change from the wiring, change the fire system, a um, few bits and pieces like that. But the, I'd say a good 80% of the building was, was already as we would like it to be. been really good we've been um, we've been uh, fortunate that, um, that people have been referring to us that was our biggest worry that um, we were uncertain what the future may bring but um, we've had a, a good uh, a good referral base and had a lot of interesting cases um, so we've been kept busy which is uh, which is fantastic at the moment we're we're sort of finding our feet and um, we found that we don't have enough staff that's for sure so we've got a, uh, a few more nurses starting which is a, a huge relief for everybody um, it means we'll get some chance to, to sleep and eat which is uh, much needed um, so that'll be coming over the next few months beyond that we're looking to continue to increase the cases we're seeing in orthopedics um, uh, we're aiming to increase our our, our caseload, um, perhaps not double it, but certainly increase it significantly. Um, and ideally, in the medium term, we'd like to take on other specialties as well. So, um, neurology would be a, a, a good uh, a co discipline for us. I think would, uh, there'd be a lot of um, cooperation and coordination between the two disciplines if, if, we, if we had that. Just the time it takes, it's, um, it's all consuming. It's all consuming, it's a 24-7 it's a um, setup to, to, to get it going and, and run it. It's, uh, it just is, there's a lot to do and very few people to do it. So you know, all the jobs have to happen. If they don't happen, then uh, we can't do what we need to do. So there's a tremendous amount to do. There's a, more than I could possibly have imagined, um, but equally it's getting done and it's, uh, it's very rewarding doing it. Push a little bit more for a better deal when you're um, when you're negotiating with with contractors and uh, and suppliers. There's always a deal to be made, and it's out there. You just got to you just got to push for it. Um, that would probably have saved us a few quid. Um, but just go for it. There's no question. I uh, we've made the right choice in, in doing this. Whatever the future brings, you know, 
right now we are very, very pleased we've done this.